Hi, I don't know you, Daphne here. Lovely to hear from you. Thank you for sending in uh, more great essays. And your exam is soon. I'm so glad you feel confident. That is just what you need to be feeling going into this. Really, really good. Good for you. These are so hard, these titles. Wow. Uh, some people think in order to produce a happy society, it's necessary to ensure there's only a small difference between the earnings of the richest and poorest. To what extent do you agree or disagree? This is quite a recent question, actually, and um, made me think. It's it's a very interesting. Happiness. I mean, what is happiness? Happiness has been associated with financial stability and wealth. You could say, um, over many over many centuries, even or decades, if not. I think it's a good idea to put a time indicator in here. I mean, I have to, but I think it might sit to your essay in a context, which kind of helps you. Psychologists. Uh, now, just going to check the spelling on that. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Should be okay because normally it comes up on the spelling. Okay, um, it does have an H in there, it's not the right spelling. Uh, psychologists, good. Um, psychologists now, maybe not how, typo maybe, are experts on the gap. On the file of well, sorry, experts on the file of well-being and happiness. Oh, hang on. Okay, they're psychologists and experts. Um, not sure. Maybe typo here. Um, on the file of, or in the field of, is the other one, well-being and happiness, comma, have analysed this topic and pointed out that by closing the gap of income in between uh, wealthy adjective, wealth is the noun, and poor people, comma here so I can breathe, societies could be happier. Good. Uh, happier, uh, you might even put here, and more content. Content or contented equally either is okay as an adjective, but just get away from happy all the time. I personally believe that financial stability could be a key factor to develop healthier communities, but not the only one. Good. And this essay I'll analyze this issue and give my opinion. Okay, lovely. Now, do you mean healthier here, or do you mean more contented? Careful on what you mean, because happy isn't necessarily healthy. We would be quite careful on these definitions, don't we? On one hand, it's inarguable that having a stable income is essential to cover basic life needs as, such as food and housing. Excellent. When fundamental rights are covered, comma, the probability uh, to be happier could dramatically increase. Okay, I would say the likelihood, probability, but better here, likelihood would be here. Uh, likelihood of finding uh, either happiness or um, content, um, maybe a, a, an unanxious or less anxiety. Oh, tricky. Oh, a less anxious, maybe. Uh, setting. Not sure that's perfect, but I'm trying to find ways around just saying happy the whole time. Could dramatically increase. This is actually because money can allow allow people's basic needs to be met. You need to get a passive verb in here and at the end. Uh, people's needs to be met. Really important that one. So it needs to be met. Passive. To be met. Okay, like paying for food, shelter, and healthcare. Psychologist spelling again. In oh, sorry, but the spelling that is the correct spelling. Okay, psychologists in the Canadian universities have indicated that providing basic income to those that earn the earn the least. When you've got least, you have to have the least money. 
okay, will dramatically benefit the economy of the country, but most importantly, comma, could impact positively in societies. So impact on here, but brilliant, societies have some well-being. Therefore, there's no, there is no denying that having money to pay for our basic needs is essential, good, really, and essential for. Watch out these little tiny prepositions. They are difficult, but we are talking about essential for. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, nowadays, comma, the world population seems to be more polarised, where the richest are able to accumulate more wealth and the poorest are struggling even more lovely. However, many argue that happiness is not defined by financial status, good, or even should not be defined. You could have a bit more subtle there. Psychologists agree. Here you've got, okay, you've got the H in there. Yeah, that's correct. So that one is not picking it up, but that should have the H in. Uh, that agree with this. Uh, maybe it actually should be who because they're people. But you could just have agreeing, agreeing with this point of view, comma. I mentioned factors that could influence factors overall. So you mentioned all alternative factors, other, yeah, strong support system, uh, or healthy habits. You might go family support system in there. Recent research has shown that people who engaged in hobbies. So I engage in a hobby, uh, like outdoor activities or knitting. <laughs> Yay, that was really popular. I'm rubbish at it. I tried once. Uh, hobbies, comma. Uh, so watch out for the commas. Yeah, they allow, they're very important. They, they are not only grammatically important, but they allow your reader to breathe. I would 20% happier than those who do not have any specific hobbies. Uh, okay, change that, pastimes. Yeah, don't use the same word so close. This makes it clear that money is not a definitive factor. Well done to um, permitting, to allowing, oh, sorry, or even better might be accessing. Okay, uh, any of those I think would work. Okay. In conclusion, comma again, I personally believe that financial stability um, is a key factor, but not the only one. Money will cover basic needs, which are fundamental. However, there are other aspects that could contribute, good, good work contribute to the level of personal overall happiness. Um, good. Even if we were able, this is a lovely conditional, even if we were able, our, our second conditional, to close this income gap by providing measures, um, you need to, um, Contented would not. Contentedness. Contentedness would not be guaranteed. Okay. Um, have a look at that one carefully. You've got a second conditional to end with, with which, should, which would be a fab ending. But you need to have watch out. So past simple, even if we were able to, and would not be guaranteed. That's your second conditional. Make sure they balance. Conditionals have to balance. Okay. Really, really nice essay. Fantastic work. I like that a lot. Very good. Really intelligent writing. Amazing. Well done. Really impressive. Okay. Here you've got a little map. Well done. Passives. Um, okay. So, and comparisons, remember. Okay. The map illustrates significant changes in the layout. So, in the layout um, of Garden Park. Yeah, overall the park has gone under, other way around, undergone but lovely otherwise, a remodeling process uh, along the years, where some of the main infrastructures have been replaced, perfect with modern ones, as well as including some new meters, amazing. In 1920, comma here, uh, the music stage and water fountain were the main infrastructure of the park, located at the centre. Three different flower gardens with seats. Uh, now, surrender, not surrender, surrender is give up in a battle or a fight. Uh, you want surround, very nearly. Surround or surrounded those main buildings, because it's 1920, so past simple there. Uh, two located at the west, north, another one by the south. The main attractions is where the fish pond and glass house. Lovely writing, excellent. However, the park has changed significantly, maybe, during the time. Two main entrances have been kept, as well as a flower garden uh, on the northwest. So in the, would have to be in 
the northwest. Prepositions of place, just quickly revise that. Um, the flower garden, uh, again, on the in the uh, Oh, flag on in the northwest. Yeah. You could have on the southwest side is okay. But otherwise in so I think you need to have side here. Uh so in the northwest in the northwest corner. It's difficult to have uh in is with a corner, in the corner. And on the side, it's to do with three dimensional and two dimensional. Um, that doesn't make it any easier, does it? Has been eliminated in order to make space for the amphitheater. Today, we can find a central garden and seat the centre of the park, which have replaced the water fountain. The east side of the park has undergone the, um, rather than undergone again, you could have witnessed, registered. Uh, or been transformed by major changes. So another passive there you could have, or passive has been transformed by major changes. Yeah. So the passives are what we're, what would be really really great here. Okay. So that bit there. Old fish pond has been moved good to the southeast corner in order to make space for Anika's playground in the cafe. Now this park has a new entrance. Um has an additional new entrance. Okay. Um now length here. Yeah, you're too long. Okay, so I definitely cut that line. Because you can't tell me everything. Don't worry. Yeah. It very much says select and report. So here, select and report, which means you cannot tell me everything. You just have not got the space. You've done a fabulous, fabulous job. Yeah. Um, but something like here with all the flower gardens, you could maybe reduce this a little bit. Yeah. So this east side. So you said to the east, something has happened. Yeah. Um, so just a bit shorter to the east. Yeah. And that takes out a lot of words. Remember 20 minutes on this one. Uh, the m majority of the marks are for the task two, um, although you don't want to lose marks here, but you've done really, really well. Fantastic. Great work. Really lovely working with you. Well done.